Hi guys, both you are here and my name is Anil Deshpande. This is a continuation of the previous video where we were talking about the updation of the UI. So as I had told in the previous video, but updating the UI from a separate thread is a little bit tricky. Let us see what happens if we try to update the UI thread from a separate thread. I have slightly modified the design in this particular case, kept a variable called count which I keep on increasing in the while loop. I have now added a text view and I will be trying to update that particular text view every time the thread increments the value of the counter. So just for the benefit, I will show you how this particular app runs with the new count variable being in use. So you can see the app starts, the thread initially is one and when I click on the start thread button, the counter will keep on increasing. You can see that the thread ID is also different. And on click of the stop thread button, the count will stop at 10. Now, instead of outputting the value of the count to the log, I will want to update it to the text view. So I have an instance of a text view here, and this particular text view have to be set with the new count value so let me do that text view dot set text and count i can just update it with count value so let me rerun this the thread has not yet started i will click on the button and on click of that it should try to update the ui but the app crashes if you see the error there is a fatal exception and if you further go into details it will say that only the original thread that created a view hierarchy can touch this particular view what it is basically saying is text view was created on a separate thread which was the main thread this particular count value is getting executed or updated on a separate thread this particular thread cannot update the view that is text view so how do i solve this particular problem for that, let us keep these things aside for a few minutes and understand few more concepts related to message queue. Android maintains a queue which is called as a message queue which is always populated with the tasks that need to update the UI. This task could be as simple as rendering a button or doing something on click of a button, anything for that matter. So this message queue is basically a queue of tasks that need to be executed one after another. Now the question is, who is going to execute the tasks that are there in this particular queue? For that, we have a, another thread which is under constant loop, which keeps on executing any task that is there in that particular message queue. Since this thread is under constant loop, it is called as looper. In our case, since we want to update the UI, the UI thread itself is under a constant loop and it is trying to execute any task that you put in this particular message queue. We have a thread and thread wants to put a task in this particular queue, but it is not possible to do that. Thread cannot directly put the task in that particular queue. For that, we use something called as handler. Thread gives the task that it wants to put into the queue to the handler and handler will be having the reference to the message queue and it will place that particular task in the message. As per Android, the task should be of type runnable instance. This runnable instance will be put in this particular queue. As long as queue contains the tasks, the looper in this particular case, the main thread will keep on executing the tasks that are there in the message queue. Let us see this in execution. This particular count variable cannot be updated directly like this. So what I will do is, I will create a instance of handler. This handler, I will initialize here, new handler. And this new handler should have a reference to the message queue of the UI thread. So for that, what I can do is get application context dot get main looper. So this will make sure that this handler will always have a reference to my main looper, 
which is also a main thread or UI thread. Now, what I will do is handler dot post. I am posting a task. The task should be of type runnable. So let me create a runnable instance here. And inside the run method text view dot set text. And here I can now put the value of count. So let me run this. I will click on the button. You can now see that the text view is getting updated because now the updation task is being put on the message queue which in turn is getting executed by a looper thread which is a main thread another simpler way of updating the ui in that case i don't have to write all these things what i can do is directly text view post new enable here set text count so this is also doing the same thing but it is you can say just a kind of shorthand notation of achieving the same behavior let me run this start the thread you can see that we are getting the same behavior so if at all you want to update the ui from a separate thread it has to be done through the concept of looper and handler that brings us to the end of this particular video comment down below the video on what new concepts that you would like to learn subscribe to the channel take care